Good evening. This is your correspondent and facilitator, Walter Crankcase. Welcome to Testing the Shallows Television Network's Public Affairs Hour. How superficial can we be? And thank you all, our guest candidates, for taking time out of your meaningless schedules to be here this evening, as representatives from all political parties. Appearing before the American people in this forum means a great deal to our sponsors. We have questions submitted by our audience for you to answer. And here is the first one. Legal controversy, both civil and criminal, seems to follow candidates from all parties. Misuse of funds, personal misconduct, illegal contributions, selling political influence for financial and political support. Our audience wants to know why this is the case. How do civil or felony allegations or convictions serve the U.S.? Excellent question. But it is not hard to answer. You see, I am an attorney. I work with laws all the time. Up close. And personal. And they are slippery little buggers. You just can't work with laws the way I do without breaking a few, from time to time. It's not like I do it on purpose. It just happens. It may not serve our nation's best interests. But other candidates have the same problem. Everybody slips up from time to time. It's just when I do it. Some federal court gets involved. It's not as if it's really important. But I pledge. If I am elected, I will be more attentive. I vow to slow the rate by which I break the law or violate the Constitution to an acceptable minimum. That's a promise. A most interesting explanation. I am sure our audience identifies. Laws are slippery buggers and do get in the way. But let's see how our next candidate sees the issue. That's easy for you to say, madam. You may be an attorney, but I am still on probation. And I have far more experience than you do in breaking the law. I really know what I'm doing. What upsets me about all of this is the number of people in the US in prison. We have the highest per capita rate of incarceration among all industrialized countries. Don't you? think that these felons deserve representation? To exclude them would be a crime. So America's felons can depend upon me to represent their interests. I value their support. Impressive. So those who have criminal records constitute a growing national voting bloc. It's an interesting political strategy. Mobilizing the support of those with criminal records could make and make an important electoral difference. But I note that our next candidate does not seem to agree. Neither of those answers really speaks to the issue. It's the economy. Anyone can see that. If politicians were more law-abiding, just think of the ramifications. Police and investigators would lose their jobs, as would prison guards and wardens. Judges and attorneys, too, would be out on the street. Just think of their poor families. I violate the law. For them. The police and investigators need something to investigate. I offer myself. Prison grits and wardens need something to guard and rehabilitate. Again, I offer myself. Judges and attorneys need court cases to prosecute and defendants to defend. If I do not step into the breach, who will? My felonies create jobs for Americans. So for me, breaking. The law is a sacred, patriotic duty. And if I am elected, I will prove to all Americans that I am worthy of the sacred trust. I honestly pledge to be patriotically dishonest. Thank you for your insights. Interesting. Crime is a patriotic duty. To stimulate the economy. A novel spin on this puzzling issue. But we've yet one more candidate to hear from. None of my colleagues makes a lick of sense. Government is the problem. And who makes the laws? You got it, the government. So the best way to solve the government problem is to ignore the government's laws. It's just that simple. Patriotic Americans must unite with me. For together, we can ignore or disobey far more laws than we could individually. So I call on Americans everywhere. When you see a law, disobey it. If you see a sign that says, keep off the grass, then walk right up to it. Then jump up and down on that sign. That's my message and platform. The result. I am always in legal trouble. And I will continue to be. My constituency expects that of me. So there. I'm only being a good example. 
Thank you all for putting this issue in a new light. We have all been enlightened. I should think, that in a few days, the nation will see an outbreak, of illegal acts. From coast to coast. And we will have all of you to thank for it. And that's our program for this evening. This is Walter Crankcase saying, wherever you go, there you are. And good night and good luck. For it sounds to me, as if you are going to need it.